want to show you how you create a ticket when you do a click to call action within your fresh desk. Why would you need that? Quite simple. You might have a customer and the customer has written you an email and was very angry and you know you have to call back. The Bubble Force automation makes it possible that you directly create a ticket within Freshdesk so you know that you call the customer. I'm gonna show you in Freshdesk so you know what's going on and afterwards I show you in the Bubble Force Manager how you create the automation. First of all, make sure you've activated the Bubble Connect app. If you deactivate the Bubble Connect app, you see the click to call option disappears. So activate the Bubble Connect app, make sure you have integrated click to call. And now it is so simple. I show you. You can directly call any customer you want. You answer the phone, you see one click, you're directly calling the customer. The phone of the customer is ringing, customer is accepting the call, and you can talk to him or her. And all you have to do now is click on the user, and there is the ticket just created a few seconds ago. And here are a few more really brilliant things. As you see, the ticket was directly um, attached to the user you called. It has quite a few information in here. So it says to which phone number the call was made, by whom the call was made. The naming of the ticket also tells you that it was an outbound call. It gives you the name of the customer. And it also tells you how long the call lasted. And there's one more thing. The ticket was automatically assigned to the agents doing the click to call. So let me show you how you achieve that in the Bubble Force Manager app. We're going to need one trigger. In this case, we called it outbound first leg to end user. It needs three expressions. So one expression needs to be the external, that this call is not created by the platform. The next expression is the definition that the call is an outbound call. You can see that here. And the last one is the call source. In our case, it's the API because we do the call ourselves. It's not reaching the platform via queue. So that's it. It's really simple. After you created the ticket, you have to take care of four events. And let me briefly introduce you all of them that you know what to set up. If you want to create a new event, you just click on add event and you fill in all the details that you see on my screen here. So the first event is the outbound lookup end user for Freshdesk. For the label, you can choose whatever you want. The priority in our case has to be the highest because it's the first thing. First, we want to find the user who is calling. What they're doing is matching the phone number with any existing phone number in your Freshdesk integration. In some cases, you might need to merge the user, but after you've done that once, they will always directly be connected to the calling number. We want to look up the end user when the call was created. And the action you want to choose in this case is you go to the drop down menu, search the adding bubble force, and here you set, select look up end user. Here you put in the trigger we created and make sure to select the correct integration. So fresh desk. If you haven't done your integration, make sure that's done first. Um, and creative not existing means that the user is created if the user doesn't exist yet. Okay, that's the first part. The next part is to create a new ticket in Freshdesk. It's a little longer, but not um, difficult at all. You again, choose a label, priority needs to be a little lower. The event is called created. The moment the call is created, we have the action created ticket again. You click in the drop down menu. This time you go to the heading Freshdesk and select create a ticket. Trigger is the same, integration is the same. And now we have a couple of things you need to fill in. The phone indicates the number of the caller. So they find the caller. Status is pre-filled. And here's this description. I showed you in my example that there were quite a few things in the body of the ticket. And that's how you define them. There are different expressions. You can browse through the available expressions. We have nice help center articles on that. But for instance, in our case, let me show you how this specific, um, how this specific description integrates into Freshdesk, just that you remember. So in this case, we have this outbound call. So the expression call type is outbound, was made to consumer and username is picked with phone number. So this user has the phone number that displayed here. In this last section, I added who made the call. 
Yes, you can see I use some um, HTML. You can do anything you want. It's pretty nice. And the ticket subject here is Outbound Call 2 and username translates to Outbound Call 2 Maycat. So very sweet, isn't it? The rest this is filled out. You should select the type. Um, and there's one more thing. You can add any text you want. So two more triggers. Yes, we're almost there. You also want to make sure the ticket is assigned to the right agent, whoever made the call. So again, give a label, give a lower priority. The event in our case is an outbound call. And the action you find under Fresh Desk is update ticket. Select the same trigger, select the same integration. And this is the important expression you need to fill in. Integration.freshdesk.ticket.id And responder ID is the agent source ID. And then you have the result that the ticket is automatically assigned to the calling agent. And the last one is a fun event, that's why I added it. It's not necessary, but it's good to know. In our case, I am adding a note to the ticket when the call is finished. Do so you see the event is called finish and the action under fresh desk is add a note to a ticket. What's happening here is I am in this integration with this ID adding a body. And in our case, I'm simply adding the call duration. So that's the result. All right, make sure it's a private note, otherwise you might inform the customer, but maybe you wanna call and um, inform the customer after the call was finished. You can do whatever you want. This is just one example. And I hope this explains everything to you. Let me know if you have any other questions and thanks for watching this video.